A lot of people have been using their free time to sew protective masks because they're sometimes hard to find at area stores. But as Kellyanne's Don Jorgensen reports tonight, all that sewing is creating another type of shortage, one you probably didn't think about. A lot of people are trying to do whatever they can to help out during this pandemic. But if you're looking to buy a sewing machine to start sewing masks, good luck finding one. Gladys Guzman normally cleans houses for a living, but business has slowed down due to the coronavirus pandemic. Now she's been busy sewing protective masks. Now with all this free time that we have, so we decide to invest our time in something uh, that can help the community to survive this pandemic. <laughs> She has sewn 150 masks so far to donate to hospital workers, but she had to stop. My sewing machine got broken. That's why I came to visit the founder um, to see if we can replace it or be fixed or uh, something because we need to continue working until all this is gone and we want to do as much as we can. But sewing machines are hard to come by right now. The companies are telling us that they are uh, selling out of machines across the country. Uh, they're warning us and, and suggesting to us that we uh, order machines, put machines on back order so that we can keep up with the demand of sewing masks or keeping yourself occupied in this time of uh, troubling time. Fonder Sewing is also selling elastic to make the mask and that's getting harder to find as well. They still have some sewing machines for sale, but most of their time now is spent fixing machines like Guzman's. The repairs are coming in uh, uh, 10, 12 a day, and so we cannot keep up with the demand there, but we are working our very hardest to, to get machines repaired in a timely manner and get them back to the customer. In Sioux Falls, Don Jorgensen, Kelloland News. That is a lot of sewing machines. Because there's a shortage of elastic, Fonder Sewing is only selling 15 feet of it at a time to customers.